Hey, what's up guys? This is P Ghai and today I'm going to review the Swipe keyboard. It's actually an amazing keyboard which was released like one or one, one and a half months back in the Google Play Store. And before I do that, I just want to say that if you like this video, just give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel to get updates on my upcoming videos. So to begin with this video, uh, we're going to just test this keyboard by swiping our finger from one alphabet to the other and see how good the prediction is, alright? So, this is an amazing keyboard. Okay, that worked pretty well. And we can enter the exclamation bar by just swiping from that exclamation key to the space bar. This is one of the, one of the options that you have with swipe keyboard that you can swipe the special characters from the key to the space bar and it will be entered like this question mark and all the other special characters. So next we are going to just test the tapping ability of this keyboard and see how good the prediction in that case. And I am going to deliberately try and mistype the words so, so to see how good the prediction is alright. So this okay, didn't know auto correction there. This is an amazing keyboard. All right. So apart from uh, swipe not being able to predict that I wanted to type this instead of DOS, all the other mistypes were pretty, pretty, pretty accurately corrected. So that's a good thing. I'm going to delete everything and now let's hop into the settings now we go into the settings and we see the, the themes uh, it actually provides a lot of themes i believe close to seven eight themes but uh, quite frankly only one or two of them are actually pretty pretty good and all the others are like, like pathetic i mean look at this boston i mean come on who's gonna use that justin bieber or i, I don't know who um, anyways Okay, all the basic settings, we have vibrate on key press, sound on key press, pop up and complete trace which actually looks really horrible when you swipe long words and everything like that. And prediction is auto correction is, as you just saw, it's good. I mean, all, not as good as swift key. That is the one thing that swipe can really improve upon is the, uh, is the auto correction. It's good. I'm not saying it's bad. But again, the leader in this aspect is swift key hands down auto spacing is fine next word prediction okay this is one of the other thing i want to talk about is that uh, the next word prediction in swipe is really uh, actually below par quite frankly it's really really amazing in swift key i mean with swift key it seems as if it can read your mind all right uh, with swipe uh, the next word prediction is basically non-existent you know although it's there in the option but when you use it uh, i don't think you will be able to find much help in this and when it comes to voice and handwriting now this is one of the best features no, okay not the best features but personally the feature that i find it very useful is that i basically do not use voice voice typing or voice speech or whatever like never i i never use it never ever use it and the most irritating part about other keyboards is that key although i don't use it but the that voice key is still there in the in the main keyboard layout and really hogs up that space and the most irritating part is when I actually tap on it and you know it, it's really irritating. Now with this uh, it gives me the option to actually remove it so that it can be replaced by a, a, a comma or a full stop or whatever. So that's a good thing and that's all we have in the features in the settings sorry. Now in when you go to my words this is another amazing feature of this swipe keyboard is that it basically backs up all your custom entered words like i'm in india so i use a lot of hindi words which is uh, either called english or roman english whatever whatever way you want to say it so if i type it i save it it actually gets synced with in the cloud all right so if i reinstall this app on another phone another device and I, it just syncs flawlessly and all my words all my custom words are, are are on that device and you know i don't have to enter them again and again and save them again and again so that is a really 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 useful feature and um, language is pretty 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 common gestures this is basically a help guide to 
to you know tell you all the cool gestures that you can use to type all the other stuff like you can swipe from the swipe icon to x to cut a word and you know copy paste to whatever you know just like in like you do in windows you know and help is nothing special and add ons is i haven't seen anything in add ons ever so that's sort of picture so that's about it this uh, this keyboard is really nice and you can actually download the trial version of it from the play store and if you like it you can buy it the links for both the trial version as well as the full version are in the description box below and again like this video if you uh, you know click on the like button if you like this video and uh, that's about it i'm going to see you in the next video till then bye